alignment and the stack growth. Uh, sorry. Uh, mouse, mouse. Yeah, mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Not my mouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, here you go. Click <laughs> okay. okay. down doesn't work, right? Um. Okay, if you start with mechanical. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, it's working. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, okay, I will introduce myself. Uh, I'm a system software engineer, and uh, I like uh, diving into the technologies related to computer infrastructure, such as operating system kernel and uh, debugging, and etc. Uh, since I'm a, I'm not a native English speaker, so please excuse me for my uh, poor oral speaking. Uh, I will go through uh, these tips quickly, and if I have another time, I, I will show some code. Firstly, it's about uh, the endiness. The endiness, uh, the CPU generally has two kinds of endiness. First is the big ending. Uh, for example, the Spark CPU. Uh, I'm not sure wh whether uh, how many people heard about the Spark. Uh, for the big ending, uh, the most, signi most significant bit, 0A, will be stored in the lower address of the memory. For example, uh, a, a plus one, plus two, the zero A will stored here. But for the little ending, uh, 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 I think uh, x86 uh, is, uh, is our most familiar, familiar CPU, and it's the little ending. It means the least significant bit, uh, less zero D, will be stored in the Lower, lower address of the memory than uh, 0C, 0B, and 0A. So the other tips is about the better alignment. Uh, some CPUs, uh, especially the risk, the risk structure, risk architecture, uh, like Spark, it requires the strict better alignment. That means, uh, for example, if the, for the short, short integer, uh, who, who says it's only two bytes. So uh, the, the begin memory address uh, will, will be the multiple of two. If it's integer, who says it's four, and the, the start address must be the multi, multiple of four. If the data is not a better alignment, the program will crash. On Spark, it will contain um, bus error. But uh, for, uh, for x86, uh, maybe uh, not better alignment will will affect uh, its performance, but the program won't crash. It will uh, still run and uh, get the correct result. The third one is about the stack growth. Uh, most CPU stack growth is from higher address to lower. Uh, I only remember the Spark can adjust uh, uh, this this option. For example, to to change the stack rules, but uh, I, I'm not sure uh, whether anyone can, can, can turn on this option. It means uh, when the function calls another, uh, it will save, uh, for example, the most familiar x86, it will save the return address, then the old stack frame, old stack frame means the stack frame, which is the, the upper function, then it's local variable. So uh, the whole Cost stack is like this. Uh, so I think uh, because uh, my my time is uh, is due, so uh, I, I I won't have enough time to show some code. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, ask question. Uh, ask question. Okay. Yeah, first question. You <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I, uh, uh, I will show. I think I will show the most comp complicated the stack row stack row code. Uh, we can see it's just a simple function call from the main to function two, then call function one. Uh, then we will use the GDB to to show the whole the whole call stack.
So uh, it's function two. Let, let me step into it's function one. Uh, let me show the assembly code. Okay, so we can see now we will we'll call the function one. Then uh, we step into the function one. Uh, it's just simple, just the assign value to a double inter double double type. Now uh, let's check the the call stack. Uh, let's check the memory address. Mm. Uh, so it, it means uh, now uh, we will first fetch the a address because the double occupies eight bytes. So the first eight byte is just a. Then according to this this picture, uh, old old RBP. This one this one will be the uh, the stack frame uh, of the of previous, uh, that means the uh, function tools, uh, function tools stack frame. Then the third, the third data, we can see uh, 57. It's here. It's the return address from function one. So then this one, this is the function tools of the static frame. It means main functions. Uh, so Many functions is that frame. So uh, m maybe uh, uh, it's not clear here. So uh, I think uh, we can discuss uh, after it. Um, any other question? Yeah. Um, so uh, I have I haven't I haven't uh, heard about the difference between big and since my since my um, new architecture class in like my second year of university. So yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah. I haven't had to use any of that knowledge at work. Why do I care about um, uh, Yes, because the first thing is, for example, the, uh, when you send the data in the network, the network data is actually used the big and For example, if you send the data from x86 and the other machine is Spark, uh, you, you must uh, set, uh, set up this protocol first. <laughs> so it's all in the big and But I don't, I don't send any network data to anyone. Like, I don't have to go with any of that stuff. You know, I write like, PHP in my JavaScript. Uh, this means the library in PHP has encapsulated this for you. Yes. So, but then what do I care about? But uh, okay. <laughs> if uh, if you use a Wireshark or TCP dump or capture data to debug, you should know this thing. Mm -hmm. It's useful when profiling or finding issues in your code. Uh, profiling. Uh, network profiling or. Uh, I think uh, big ending or late ending doesn't uh, uh, affect uh, the performance very well. I think better alignment is actually uh, impact your your program's performance. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what is the reason we have these two different uh, different languages? Uh, I I haven't uh, mm, researched much, but I think uh, uh, in the beginning, diff different uh, computer manufacturer will have different uh, standard. Uh, so, but uh, they will finally get get one standard that is network network <coughs> byte order to uh, convey each other, communicate each other. Right. Just for context, right? Uh, what is the performance difference between byte like byte line code and byte line code? Uh, from my experience, such as Spark, uh, I remember the ARM CPU, uh, which your your cell phone use is. Uh, it requires, uh, for the risk, it requires the straight byte alignment. If it's not byte alignment, the program will crash. Okay. Uh, I think for x86, uh, if it's a byte alignment, it will fetch data one time. But if it's not, it will fetch twice, or uh, fetch twice, then do some tricky things to uh, uh, guide the final data. Yeah. Okay. So, but in terms of performance, is it like, is it, it's not just one fold, it's not just Two times the two times the speed, right? Uh, I think uh, it's at least uh, two times, but I don't have I haven't measured measured just from my experience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.